Welcome to our channel. Today, we're diving into a tantalizing topic, the top 5 cheating wife movies. These films explore complex relationships, forbidden desires, and the consequences of stepping outside marital boundaries. Get ready for a roller coaster of emotions with these compelling dramas. Kicking off our list is Ashes, a compelling drama and romance film released in 2024. The movie delves into the life of Gox, a wealthy married woman whose existence many might envy. Settled into a routine surrounded by luxury, Gox lives with her husband Kenan who holds a significant position at a prestigious publishing house, and their children, who complete her idyllic family picture. Her life takes an unexpected turn when she stumbles upon a novel draft, filled with intriguing narratives and rich fantasies. The novel quickly captivates her. As she delves into the mysterious text, she becomes obsessed with the world it paints, a world starkly different from her own. The pursuit of the novel's author leads Gox to a mysterious carpenter. This encounter sparks an unexpected and intense romance. For Gox, the carpenter is not just a lover, but a gateway to the unexplored depths of her emotions and desires. As their affair progresses, the thrill of the forbidden fuels their connection, bringing Gox a sense of aliveness she hasn't felt in years. However, the affair is not without its consequences. Gox finds herself caught between her duties and desires, her societal image, and her newfound passion. The secrecy of the affair adds to its intensity but also to the risk of unraveling everything she holds dear. If you love films that challenge the boundaries of convention and explore the depths of forbidden love, then Ashes is a perfect choice. This film promises not only to entertain but also to linger in your mind long after the credits roll. Next up, we have Mi Culpa 2024. The film centers on Mi Harper, a skilled defense attorney in Chicago, who becomes entangled in a complex murder case. Mi faces personal turmoil due to her crumbling marriage with Cal and the overbearing influence of her mother-in-law. Despite these challenges, she takes on the defense of Zaire Malloy, a local artist accused of murder, who claims he was framed by Mi's brother-in-law, Ray Hawthorne, an ambitious assistant district attorney. As Mi delves into the intricacies of the case, she and Zaire grow close. Their professional relationship gradually crosses into a personal affair, intensifying the stakes as Mi struggles to maintain her objectivity. This new connection brings additional tension to her already troubled marriage. Mi's affair complicates her pursuit of justice, as her personal life becomes entangled with her professional responsibilities. She faces criticism not only from her husband and his family but also from colleagues who question her ethics. Despite the pressures, Mi remains dedicated to proving Zaire's innocence, driven by her belief in his case and their growing emotional bond. The story climaxes with a series of betrayals and revelations, as Mi confronts the true extent of the corruption surrounding the case. Ultimately, she must make a choice between her personal desires and her professional duties. The film ends with unexpected twists and turns, leaving audiences to ponder the consequences of Mi's actions both for herself and for those around her. Number 3 is Victoire, a striking Canadian drama that unfolds the life of Victoire du Salt. The story begins with Victoire's early life and her passion for shoemaking, a skill that was unusual and challenging for women to pursue during that time. Victoire's professional journey intersects with her personal life when she forms a romantic relationship with George's Noel Dufresne, an older businessman. This relationship, filled with passion and complexity, provides insight into the challenges faced by women of that era, particularly in terms of personal agency and societal expectations. George is Noel, while initially supportive, is part of a society that doesn't fully accept a woman's independence. Dramatic tension escalates when Victoire is married off to George's Noel's son, Thomas, portrayed by Nicholas Fontaine. This arrangement, typical of the period, places Victoire in a difficult position, challenging her autonomy and her entrepreneurial ambitions. The film explores how Victoire navigates her forced marriage, her ongoing business endeavors, and her evolving relationship with both father and son. Victoire is a masterful drama that blends historical narrative with intense personal drama. The film's exploration of a love triangle set against the backdrop of societal change is both captivating and thought-provoking. At number 4, we have Bitter 2023. Set against the backdrop of post-Ottoman Istanbul, the movie tells the story of Bitter, who finds herself trapped in a loveless marriage to the much older Adnan Ziyechil. This marriage serves more as a matter of convenience for Bitter, providing her with a secure and affluent lifestyle, yet it fails to fulfill her emotionally and romantically. The plot thickens with the entry of the charming and carefree Balil, Adnan's nephew, who initially sees Bitter as nothing more than his attractive aunt by marriage, begins to notice her in a different light as they frequently find themselves alone in the large, echoing mansion. Their shared loneliness and dissatisfaction with their lives draw them closer, sparking a forbidden attraction. As their secret meetings become more frequent, the tension within the household rises. The servants whisper, and Adnan's daughter from his first marriage, Nihal, who adores Balil, grows suspicious and heartbroken as she observes subtle changes in his behavior. The climax of the film occurs when their affair is discovered, leading to catastrophic consequences for all involved. Adnan's heartbreak is profound, Balil is racked with guilt and indecision, and Bitter is caught between her desires and the societal condemnation she faces. 
At number 5, Swing, directed by R.C. Delos Reyes, delves into the intricate and often precarious dynamics of marriage, fidelity, and personal fulfillment. The movie revolves around a married couple, Kevin and Pam, who are grappling with the emotional and relational strains caused by their inability to conceive a child. This central conflict introduces a significant strain on their relationship, leading Kevin to seek comfort outside their marriage by engaging in affairs with different women. Pam eventually discovers Kevin's infidelities, which brings the couple to a pivotal moment in their relationship. Instead of opting for separation or traditional resolutions, Kevin and Pam make an unconventional decision to relocate to Switzerland and adopt an open marriage arrangement. This decision marks a significant shift in the narrative and delves into explorations of modern relationships, personal freedom, and the redefinition of loyalty and commitment. In Switzerland, the dynamics of their open marriage unfold, as Pam begins an affair with a Swiss man. This new relationship development for Pam introduces a counterbalance to Kevin's earlier indiscretions and challenges the couple to reevaluate their understanding of love, jealousy, and the limits of their marital agreement. The plot's progression and swing uses these relationships to probe deeper into questions about what it means to be committed to someone, how personal needs and desires fit into the framework of a marriage, and whether love can be redefined or expanded to include new forms of relationships. In conclusion, Swing is a bold exploration of modern relationships. It successfully prompts the audience to question the nature of commitment and happiness in a marriage. The film is a commendable effort in pushing the boundaries of conventional romantic drama but leaves some potential untapped in its exploration of such a complex issue. So, there you have it. Our top 5 films where the theme of cheating plays a central role but each tells a uniquely captivating story about love, betrayal, and the quest for personal happiness. If these themes intrigue you, these movies are sure to keep you hooked. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Which of these films are you planning to watch? Let us know in the comments below.